Live from downtown Detroit, Local 4 News at 6 starts now. A Southfield mom is calling for accountability tonight after she says her high school son was severely beaten up by teammates on his football team. Thanks for being with us here at 6. I'm Karen Drew in for Kimberly Gill. I'm Devin Skilly and the injuries are jarring. A broken eye socket, a broken nose, serious enough for the boy's mother to go to police. Jacqueline Francis live with us now after talking with the family about what happened. Jacqueline. Devin, this was supposed to be a time for bonding. The Southfield A&T football team spending a week in the in the hotel to kick off their season. But one mom tells us her son was badly beaten by his own teammates. This high school football player's season ended before it started. The 16 year old Southfield A&T student was attending preseason camp where the players spent the week at a local hotel. The player's mom said she got a call at 2.30 in the morning from her son saying he'd been beaten up. He's following behind with a towel uh, compressed against his, his face. And um, at that point, I asked him to let me see. And when he showed me, I knew immediately he needed to go to, to the emergency. He had multiple face fractures to his eye socket and nose. Yesterday, a month after the incident, he underwent eye surgery as part of the recovery. Never in a million years would I have let him leave my care had I known that, you know, something like this was going to happen. She says the school district has been largely unresponsive. The parents had only one meeting with the principal. I've been reaching out to the superintendent, uh, trying to get in contact. No one is uh, responding. No one is calling me back. She says her son's attackers blocked him from leaving the hotel room. I don't know if it's a if it's a hazing. I know that um, that this was a situation where it's not a boys being boys type thing. This uh, young man specifically told him that he was going to F him up and and that's exactly what he attempted to do. The family tells us they filed a police report with Southfield police. We're still working to get our hands on that report. In the meantime, the school district says they have no official comment regarding this family. They also declined a request for interview or any further explanation. We're live in Southfield. Jacqueline Francis, Local 4. Oh, boy. All right, Jacqueline.